Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand the conversion of a T flip flop to SR flip flop. In our previous class, we have clearly seen uh, the steps that are involved in the conversion of one flip flop to another flip flop. These are the steps that we have already discussed in our previous video where we have converted uh, a, a JK flip flop into SR flip flop. Our suggestion is to watch that video uh, before uh, watching this video if you haven't watched that video and come back here. So uh, the understanding of that uh, video will help you a lot in understanding this video and every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class, so uh, what is the what are the first the steps that we have to do is first we have to identify what is the given flip flop and what is the required flip flop. So the given flip flop is in the question the given flip flop is a T flip flop and the required flip flop is a <coughs> SR flip flop. Okay, so now our next step is plot the characteristic table of the required flip flop. So this is the characteristic table of the required flip flop. The required flip flop is SR flip flop and the excitation table of the given flip flop. The given flip flop is T flip flop and this is the excitation table for the T flip flop. The discussions about SR flip flop, D flip flop, JK flip flop and T flip flop has been clearly made in our previous videos. Please watch those videos. So the characteristic table and the excitation table has been taken. Our next step is obtain the excitation table of the given flip flop using the above characteristic table. So the given flip flops excitation has to be shown based upon the <coughs> required flip flop so what does that mean is so the based upon this excitation table so we have to form the excitation table for the sr so for this we have to find the excitation so for the based upon the sr flip flops uh, values we have to find the these values so how it has it can be done is 0 to 0 so the excitation from 0 to 0 uh, the t value is 0 okay the value of t has to be written here so 1 to 1 the value is 0 so 0 to 0 again 0 1 to 0 1 to 0 it is 1 0 to 1 0 to 1 excitation we are going to have a value of 1 1 to 1 we are having a value of 0 and 0 to invalid <coughs> do we have that state we don't have that state in the excitation table so these are the don't cares so these uh, values these excitations are the don't cares now we have to find the boolean expression for this uh, boolean function so this is for the uh, t input so this boolean expression we are going to get for the t input now we have to we have to minimize this function so how that uh, minimization is done so it is 0 1 1 0 1 1 is a 1 and uh, 1 0 0 1 0 0 is another one and the don't cares are 110, 110, this one is a don't care and 111, this is 111, this one is a don't care. So the subcubes are this is one subcube and this is a another subcube. So the uh, minimized equation <coughs> for this is it is a, a S Q N bar and the minimized equation for this is R Qn. So this is the function. Uh, this is the function that we have to realize. So this has to be provided as the input for the t. Okay, this function. So this extra combinational circuit has to be provided as the input to the t t input. So in this, this is the t flip flop uh, block diagram. So to this t flip flop that extra combinational circuit has to be added. So how it has to be done? It is a <coughs> we are having two AND gates and it is connected R gate. So this is the circuit and the values of the inputs are one is S R S R and S Q Q N bar. So the other input is Q n bar. So this is the uh, other input that has to be connected to this NAND gate and to and the other input of this NAND gate is R Q Q n. 
okay so this is how uh, by supplying the values of sr so uh, it this is a t flip flop this t flip flop now acts as a by adding this combinational circuit to this t flip flop this t flip flop now acts as a sr flip flop okay this is how the conversion can be done so the conversion can be done for any flip flop so from one flip flop to another flip flop we can do any kinds of conversions and these are the steps that needs to be remembered hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubts in the comment section below thanks for watching